Hello, everyone. How are you doing? I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Welcome to Thursday with Erica. And it's another beautiful week here in Calgary. We did get a dump, a huge dump of snow. And so one morning, I don't know if you've seen in my stories, I showed kind of me cleaning off my car. I think the snow was like this high. It was crazy. They said that we were only going to get two centimeters and yet we got a lot more. Well, I hope wherever you're watching us from that you are having a wonderful day and that you are enjoying your week. And today I am so excited to introduce you to another digital business owner in my community. And if you're new to my page, welcome and thank you so much for following and liking my page. And each week I have a series called Thursday with Erica where I bring on different people from all over the world who are digital business owners and we just get to know them and get to know their story and their journey and their experience as digital business owners. And so today we have a special guest. Um, she's coming to us live from Edmonton, Alberta. And I live in Calgary, and so she's about three hours north of me, so it's not too far. And she's originally from Lebanon. And so I'm going to invite Susan on. Hi, Susan. Hi, Erica. Hi. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for accepting my invite. Oh, yeah. Thanks for inviting me. It's my pleasure. That's awesome. Well, Susan, did you want to just do a quick introduction of who you are and... Tell us a little bit about you. Yes, for sure. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Good evening in our area. Uh, it might be another uh, time in your uh, where where you live uh, or you're, if you're watching a replay. My name is Susan. I live in Edmonton, Alberta, and I'm originally from Lebanon. I'm married and I have three kids. I work an executive assistant for the government by profession, and now I'm uh, running my uh uh online business uh, on the side as a part-time so yeah this is my uh, intro that's awesome well thank you so much for that now um you said that you you're originally from lebanon now how long ago did you migrate to canada yeah so we've been living uh we used to live in uh edmonton or canada we uh, we lived in different places uh, back in the 90s we went back home the girls were uh, still young so we had to get them into schools and stuff so we went back and after two years uh, life uh, are, is getting harder over there so we decided to move back here like for good and we've been here since 2013. So it's coming to eight or nine years. Uh, so yeah, and since then I've been uh, working full time uh, yeah. with the government. Oh, that's awesome! Twenty thirteen. Um, I actually I grew up, or I was born and raised in the Philippines, and then I grew up and I moved to Canada when I was twelve years old, and so I grew up in Ontario, and mm -hmm. then I lived in the states, lived a little bit in the Philippines. And then I, we actually moved into Calgary um, at the end of 2013. So we have been back in Canada kind of the same time frame. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I love living here, especially like except for the weather. Uh, everything else is uh, it's being great. Even the weather, like it's been uh, mild somewhat uh, compared to the years like in the 90s. Uh, so yeah we're we're blessed totally blessed yes i totally agree i love living in canada and especially here in alberta i think it's so beautiful right like we have the mountains there's so many different things that we can have access to that isn't like too too far from us and so i think it's yeah. really been a blessing and i i agree with you it has been mild <laughs> this I know I was just talking about snow, but we it was like all melted. Like we thought spring was here and then, you know, Mother Nature had their another idea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's still winter, but still it, it's warm outside. So I mm -hmm. can't complain at all. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> now you mentioned that you work for the government and that you're a, um executive assistant. Mm -hmm. Now, how did yes. you get started with that? Sorry? How did you get started with that? Uh, so uh, this is what my profession and my career, even back home, I used to be an executive assistant. So when I came here 
so in Canada, they require like uh, Canadian experience. So I had to start like from an admin and then I got like promotions after promotion until I got uh, uh, like permanent in the executive uh, uh, stream. So, yeah. That's good. Congratulations. I Thank can just you. imagine you're probably a rock star in your profession. <laughs> 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 Now, it sounds like, you know, a government job is pretty cushy. I'm sure your husband as well probably has um, a career. Now, yeah. what um, triggered you to look for a side hustle? Yeah, so like uh, working in a government or like a big company, like I used to work with uh, back home, it, it's a great job to acquire because it has lots of benefit, lots of uh uh, like bonuses or like you accumulate pension at the end of the year, but still you are stuck in that uh, like schedule from eight to five or nine to five or whatever. And it's a full time. So whatever you want to like uh, travel or uh, take a day off or take a day like to spend with your kids or you have like a family uh, uh anything like you want to do with the family off if you have like any emergencies you still have to ask for permission to book a day off so after like i've been working in the like corporate world for the 30 years and now like i i uh, uh there was like some time i realized that i need something more like to give me the work-life yeah. balance and i want to like uh do things that I wanted to do, like I never had to enjoy before with my little girls. Uh, like now my son is nine years and I still like, sometimes I can't, uh, I don't enjoy even pick him up from school, uh, which he loves, but I can't because I'm stuck at work. So I, I came to realize that like it was an aha moment that I have to look for something that gave me that uh, uh, flexible schedule. And I started exploring and this is when I came across this opportunity, this great opportunity. And yeah. I didn't hesitate. That's awesome. Uh, when I saw like uh, the ad and I watched the webinar once and twice. But yeah, like something attracted me and um, uh, I wish I saw this uh, ad before, uh, actually. Yeah, no, and and I think that's a common thing that most people um, say. It's like, I, I wish I, I started sooner. I wish I knew about this opportunity because, yeah, it is different. And, and that makes sense, right, what you're saying. Yes, you know, you, you do have a job. The benefits are great. You have pension. You have stability. But mm -hmm. that work-life balance isn't there. You know, you're missing yeah. so many things with your kids' lives and you're, you're stuck at work and the time that you have, you don't have that flexibility or that option to, you know, be with your family, be with your loved ones and do the things that you, you want to do, that you mm -hmm. love. So that's and really let's, let's be honest, like whenever you are working uh, in a job, any job, like you're working from paycheck to paycheck. Uh, life is getting uh, expensive, the bills are getting bigger, uh, uh, and there is no room to do any extra activity or traveling you want to do or like invest in any project you want to invest to. Yeah. Because it's a limited job, right? Mm -hmm. So exactly. there is no, even there is no increment uh, in, uh, in the salary that we take. Yeah, right? Like there's no increase, there's no potential of there is like a small increase it's but whenever you're gonna get like a promotion or any yeah. raise you get like one percent two percent but it's that's, not like up okay. to the level of the inflation that we're facing exactly right it's so true because life right now it is so expensive that inflation is ridiculous and especially living in canada it is very expensive to live in canada and so yeah. you know i i totally understand that i can totally relate now um now so executive assistant right like that is kind of, is really different from a digital business owner how was that transition what were the what were you able to take from your career into the into your entrepreneurship were there anything that you were able to bring into it 
Yeah, there is no question. Like when I first thought about the uh, like the digital business as itself as an idea, like I was a bit scared because I did like I didn't know I didn't have a previous experience. I didn't know what skills would be required like to run this business. Uh, but the beauty about this uh, system that we are in is everything is provided for us. Uh, 90% is automated, as you know. Mm -hmm. uh, there is like a step-by-step -step training, uh, which like uh, lift that burden mm -hmm. uh, from my shoulder when I said yes and I registered and I start uh, seeing and unlocking those uh, like sections in the training. But there is lots of skills that I brought from my job also yeah. like there's a technical like i'm familiar with the computers like with the softwares different softwares or applications mm -hmm. uh, and i should admit like even the digital business um like during this year of experience in the digital world uh, i got uh, like i got uh, confidence more in myself i'm like i'm doing live now uh, <laughs> i never did before even like during in in my work like I never did a presentation or like talked in public you know yeah so like each uh, my work added some skills to my digital uh, business and my digital business added some like confidence and uh, some development in my yeah. character uh, yeah. uh, to my work so it was like a win-win situation for me yeah, and that, that's great, right? Yeah, and I, I love that, that you're able to take skills even from your career and bring it into your digital business. And of course, the stuff that you're learning from your digital business, take that into your career. And I, you know, I can relate because it's kind of the same with me, right? Like even, um, you know, I work for Air Canada. I, I'm still working right now. I'm still working full time and enjoying it. And, you know, I recently got promoted to trainer and I was able to, use my the skills that I've learned as a coach for my digital business to, mm -hmm. to my career in Air Can with Air Canada. And so I love how the skills that you learn just improves yourself and you can use it really anywhere. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Like this digital business, because it's a, like a, it's a community of entrepreneur and e each one of them is at a different level. So uh, there's lots of empowering and motivation in the business and because we do those uh, like uh, business meetings and the presentation and everyone brings something to the plate, right? So exactly. they everyone is learning at the same time and everyone grasping whatever they are lacking in this business. So this is what I like about it. Yeah, that's awesome. Now, were there any like surprise benefits of you know, that you didn't think of your, or you didn't expect that you, you got from having your own digital business? A surprises like uh, as add-ons? Yeah, like you weren't expecting it when you signed up, but then when you've, you're started now, you're like, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, first it's uh, for sure it's the training because uh, we have like a very thorough training. Yeah. It's the community and the people that want to use to help uh, each other on in any question that we have or any problems that we are facing so it's a big community so uh, there is always um, like a chance for someone to help you or like uh, or assistance or anything yeah. uh, the second uh, the third thing I can think of is um, like meeting new people because yeah. uh, now we're being like I met you today yeah uh, and uh, on uh, on a weekly basis or a daily basis, we meet new faces and new people from around the globe. It's not just like our neighbor or our friend. So we are expanding our network. Yeah. And every time we meet someone, like we will learn from their experience or from their character or whatever their stories that they're share, they're yeah. sharing. Yeah, I love that. Right. And and you know, I, we wouldn't have the opportunity to meet each other if it wasn't for this business and this community and this opportunity 
right? Yeah. And, and you know, like this business came at the perfect time where the pandemic just uh, was just starting, and we already has this have this uh, like online application that we use, like Zoom and Teams and uh, whatever the, those yeah. StreamYard or uh, social media, Facebook, whatever. So we already had them in place, mm -hmm. and then the pandemic happened, and people start exploring those applications where we had them already uh, established and uh, we are using them on a daily basis. So exactly. we were already like uh, uh, like into the, the flow. Sounds, yeah, yeah. I know. I, I was actually so happy um, that I was already have started my digital business before the pandemic because, right, like so many people were displaced at that time. And um, like a lot of people really didn't know what to do and things shut down and, you know, but I was grateful that my, my digital business was still running and it, it didn't get affected by exactly. what was going on. And so that was a, yeah. a really, really amazing blessing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, is there anything that you would like to tell the viewers if somebody, you know, who has been thinking about maybe looking into this opportunity what would you tell them um i i think they should like trust their guts if they they are thinking or dreaming even about anything to change their lives or to Im uh, improve or uh, have like an extra revenue for their families or if they are thinking about a project and they cannot like fulfill this is a perfect opportunity to start exploring because uh, like with with our system, we are providing those uh, 90 minute uh, workshops where you can go over uh, the highlights of this business and uh, learn like from uh, different people, uh, real people who are doing this business and the results they are seeing from from uh, such an opportunity. So um, I just recommend that they have nothing to lose by watching this 90 minute workshop. Mm -hmm. So why not register and watch it? We all started at this uh, at this level where we watched that 90 minute webinar and we we just jumped in and we never looked back since then. Yeah, exactly. Beautifully said. Thank you so much, Susan, for your time and for sharing with us your story. We really appreciate it. Folks, you heard what she said, right? Like, just trust your gut and take this opportunity to explore your options because it is, it's an amazing, amazing platform. It has helped thousands of people worldwide, not just in Canada. Yes, we're both in Canada and Alberta right now, but it has helped people all over the world. And so mm -hmm. we have um, a, the complimentary webinar tonight, actually. It's starting... Um, what time is it? It's 518. So it'll be in, in about 40 minutes, 42 minutes. It'll start. So you still have time to register and get your personal link in your email. And so our mm -hmm. um, websites are down below. So you can register in either of our websites to get your personal link. And we would love to see you um, on tonight's info session. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much, Susan, for being thank here with us. And Thank you, Erica. Thanks for having me. You are so welcome. And I hope everybody, you all have a wonderful evening and enjoy the rest of your week. Take care. Bye. Bye.